Today is an office day. I got three minutes to the ferry. I ain't even gonna try to make it. <laughs> We are heading into work and it is freezing. <laughs> Okay, y'all see that, right? Nobody next to me. Bet money when I'm done and I come back to Harlem, there's gonna be like 50 bikes in front of mine. Bet money. <laughs> there's like all this space. <laughs> but anyway, man, how y'all doing? Man, the, the sun is out here, but freak it's cold. How y'all doing though? I need to go ahead and fix that glass right there. Stop playing around. <laughs> Today is an office day. I got three minutes to the ferry. I ain't even gonna try to make it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I could make it, but nah, I just, I don't think so. Three minutes? Nah. And now, if you are new to the vlog, you should know that I do work fully remote from home, but I do like to go into the office at least at least once or once a week or once every other week. And to get to the office, I have to go from Harlem to Amsterdam, taking a train and then off the train, get on the ferry, which is that way, and then take the ferry over to the office. And to be honest, I, I actually like taking the ferry. <laughs> and it's legit too, because it comes legit every 15 minutes and it's always on time. It leaves on time and it comes on time. And yeah, that is how, um, uh oh, focus, there we go. That is how I get to work. <laughs> Wow, look at all those people getting off that ferry. Look at all those people. <laughs> so yeah, today we got a really, really busy day. A bunch of meetings, but overall it should be pretty good. Busy with work, but I also got to spend my lunch break working on stuff for the car show. I mean, just in case you miss the other episode, I mean, watch yesterday's episode or the last episode, and yeah, you will, you'll be caught up. <laughs> Fresh off the boat. <laughs> now I'm gonna head into the office. I'm kind of hungry though. Ooh, look at that lighting. Whoa. And, uh, quick side note, quick shout out to Kiwi Adventures for the coffee. Then you are a ninja boss. Hey. If you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. It's a pretty good cappuccino. <laughs> so now when I'm in the office, the first thing I like to do is check up on the team, the team in UK, as well as my other teammate here, and just the whole Europe team. I check in on them and I see if we have anything missing. And so far we got a couple of things missing that are that's supposed to air this weekend, so I need to chase this stuff. Oh, quick side note, did y'all see? The DJI is coming out with another DJI Action 2. But come on, like, come on, tell, tell me that ain't gangsta. I mean, if they, if they fix a couple of issues. Okay, I am caught up with everything with two minutes left to spare before the meeting. But side note, there is an office space right here and I need to charge my laptop and take a meeting. I might just. Okay, that meeting went.
went well, very productive, and I chased everything I need to chase. I'm missing a couple of trailers as well as a few shows that are due to launch. But yeah, it's about 11 and yeah, I'm gonna go have a quick tea or coffee with a coworker or just just bring my coffee because I didn't finish it. So, okay, and quick side note, if you watched the last episode, I would love to know what are your thoughts on me starting this new show, this new car slash talk show. I would love to know your thoughts because I'm like, I'm super excited about it. The first guest is already confirmed. I talked to him yesterday and he's, he's excited about it too. So yeah, I would love to know what your thoughts are. And basically, again, it's gonna be kind of a, uh, Comedians and cars getting coffee meets Conan O'Brien, but with creators, so YouTube creators. And yeah, well, it doesn't have to be just YouTube creators, but just in general creators. The big twist about the whole thing is that the guest, not the host, not me, the guest is actually driving the car. So on the first episode, you will see the guest driving the car. And again, this is just the first episode. And um, yeah, man, I am a... Uh, I'm excited about it. And to be honest, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've talked about it in so many vlog episodes in the past that I wanted my own talk or car show. So I'm combining the two. I've always won. I'm like, look, I'm a huge, huge Top Gear fan. And that's where this idea came from. Because the idea is really like late night. And my thing was, how could I combine the late night aspect with the top gear aspect, but it's all in the car. You're not at a studio. And yeah, that's what I came up with. I came up with this whole idea of having basically this, uh, this talk show in the car. And it's something I've been developing and just working on for years and I'm just pulling a plug. I'm just, I'm ready. But yeah, I'll be shooting in a couple of weeks uh, and I can't wait to like show it to you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna release it on this channel. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna probably release it on this channel along with a couple of vlogs, obviously, cause I'm gonna be hugging the block in Atlanta. So obviously I gotta, I gotta make some vlogs, so. And again, for me, I just always wanted to do this. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that just sits around and waits. Like I see this, I've been seeing this a lot lately where people are just complaining and complaining. And don't get me wrong, a lot of people, I understand, a lot of people have the right to complain and it's completely justified. But for me, I, I feel like rather than just sit back and complain, okay, maybe complain, get it out of my system, but then do something to help me get to what I want to get. Because at the end of the day, nobody owes me anything. I mean, I am grateful to be where I am. I mean, because there are so many people who want to be in my spot. Like, they will take everything I have if they could. And if I do have something to complain about, then just change something, do something. Like, that's, that's just always been me. But hey, hey, listen, listen, I'm, I'm a boss. <laughs> like, I always have been. So, yeah, and not, not everybody's built like that. And that's okay. That is okay. It's just, I'm, I'm noticing like just people just hop on this bandwagon of complaining. I'm just like, it's one thing to be content where you are, but for people who have that drive and that ambition, I'm telling you like, get out and go for it. Like do something, keep your nine to five and use your nine to five as a means to an end. Don't see them as investor to what you really want to do. That don't mean you don't have to work all night. You don't got to do any of that. Just put in 20 minutes a day of what you really want to do. Put in an hour a day of what you really want. Just something. Be the type of person that shows up for yourself. Like you're showing up for all these other places. Show up for you too. If you, if you have that ambition and that drive to do something different. Listen, look, I'm just, I'm just super saying. Man, that was nice. Just had lunch with Emma. Well, not lunch, but tea. And uh, we just we just hung out and talked. And it was it's always nice to just hang out with other people, other than your kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, we had a little tea break, and now uh, now back to it because I have another meeting in about. Now that that 
that is done, I think I am going to wrap up some notes, check on a couple of things, and I am calling it quits at the office, and I'm heading back to Harlem. I think it is time to, dang, look how nice it is outside. Holy cow. I'll say bye to Emma before I go. I am heading out. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, leaving right on time. And I see the ferry pulling up. Yeah, we are in good shape. Now hopefully the train <laughs> just happens to be here. I didn't even look it up. I should have looked it up, but I didn't. Uh, no, never mind. I see it right here. 4A. Even in four minutes, pimp. Whoa! <laughs> Catching up on some Formula One. <laughs> and we going. Going a little slow, aren't we? <laughs> okay, back in Harlem. Feels good. Oh, it's nice out. Ooh, that lighting. <laughs> Dang, it feels so different from when I left this morning. It was like freezing this morning. <laughs> Dang, it feels different. Okay, I need to run a quick errand before I log back on for work. Ooh, something just, some water just fell on my nose. <laughs> what the heck? What was that? Man, I hope nobody spit on my nose, man. <laughs> that would, that would be disgusting. Oh, that's it. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. Mm, that was simple. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> Man, it is crazy busy today. Because that sun out. <laughs> when that sun out, everybody come outside. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm the only one that needs to go to work. <laughs> you know, I guess where I'm coming from is like out of my nine to five, if I want something extra, I know like the lessons in the world have taught me that I'm not going to get it from my 9 to 5. Anything extra. If I want a talk show, if I want to build like a car show or or do anything like anything that I truly want to do, it's not going to come from my 9 to 5. So I could just sit and complain all day, but it ain't doing nothing for me. And this is something that I've learned from a really young age, like for real. Like, I mean, it just, it was, it just kept being thrown in my face day to day. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I could literally be content with my nine to five and my career. I mean, I have a solid career, but I, that's not the end goal for me. Like I'm better than that. Like I know what I want and I know what I'm capable of. So I can do better than that. But like to get there, I gotta do something different. I gotta do something different outside of work, period. All right, now I gotta get back to work and I think we are pulling back up at here. Like this place is, I ain't gonna lie, man. This place is, this place is boss. I need to log back on, get some more work done, and then uh, get ready to call it quits. It's been like a pretty good day. And I'm not connected to the internet. Come on. Okay, almost done with work. And you know, I guess I was thinking about it and I was, I guess I'll just leave it to this. I guess what I was trying to say is that I want more and I wanna do more. So I just, at the end of the day, 
I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what? I think that's the key to it all. Like I think me knowing that I can do more and I want more keeps pushing me to do more because I know what I'm capable of. And yeah, that's that's it. But if I was content, I would not be sitting around complaining about what I don't have. I would just, I would own it and I would be happy with what I have, period. So I guess that's the lesson of the vlog. If you are content with where you are, own it and be proud of it. Like, don't sit down and just complain and just complain about where you're not at and how you feel like you deserve, like, no. Own where you are. If you feel like you deserve more and you want more and you have that desire, then do more. Do more outside of your work. And I think that's, I think you'll be Gucci. And Pimpin, remember you, you got this. Look at that lighting. <laughs> but no, for real, y'all got this. All right, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish up work and then head home. Oh, and quick side note, I, I want to know, do y'all like Formula One? <laughs> Like, be real, be, be real, no lying. Do you like Formula One? Cause I'm a, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I need, let me just finish up a couple of things. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Dutch lights for y'all. This means push. And then this one means pull. And this door is closed. <laughs> okay, got all my work done today, which is like freaking amazing. I didn't think I was gonna get all of it done. And you know what? I completely forgot that like I ain't eat nothing. <laughs> No, I had some blueberries, but that's about it. I ain't have I didn't really have lunch today at all. Just completely forgot. Completely forgot to go get some lunch. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna cut the vlog here. Man, I'm, I'm really happy about today. And it's still light out, look at that. But yeah, hunger aside, let me know what you guys think about the idea of the car show and if I should put it on the same channel. Let me know. Sorry, I was like fidgeting with the tripod. It was falling out because <laughs> it was loose. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Because not for nothing, I'm actually really excited about it. Especially, especially I get to like, I feel like I'll be able to hang out with more creators and get to know creators a lot more. And that's what I'm extremely excited about because man, it's, I've been wanting this for a long time. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna just head home and chill out a bit. I mean, well, eat dinner and then chill out a bit. <laughs> and look, don't forget, if you wanna do something, just do it. Pimmy, you got this, you got this. <laughs>